All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Sophie Alexander of the Nutritional Wellness Center. I'm here today talking about how to keep your momentum going with your health, how to reset and renew in a new year. And so at the recording of this video, it's mid-January. And so this is a time of year um, that in my office, as I'm seeing clients, see a lot of people feeling the, re the need to reset after the holidays. Um, holidays are such a challenging time in terms of different food exposures, uh, toxicity exposures within foods and with travel. And so people are finding their own ways to renew their momentum, to reset. And I just wanted to share with you um, some of the things that I see, right? Because coming out of the holidays, not everybody, but some people are more tired, right? They've gained some weight. Um, their digestion is off. They're just not seeing that vibrancy that they've experienced uh, before with uh, targeted changes to their diet and changes with their lifestyle. Um, and so some people, you know, just noticing these changes and observing that they're not feeling as well, that in its own is just enough of a, okay, I'm ready to reset. They, they come into the appointment with me and they're ready to restart their food journal if they've stopped, or they're just ready to get the sugar. That's because that's the biggest culprit. So often it's just get the sugar out of their diet. Um, but other times, especially if people have been doing it long-term, I find it can be helpful to think about a bigger bigger picture or really understand what's going on in the body that is bogging it down and you know leading it susceptible to disease. Because unfortunately, what also happens as there's more sugar in people's diets and there's more chemical exposures um, is that they're getting sick and they had been so used to doing better with that and not getting sick so often and then they're starting to drag. And of course that's, that's no fun either. And so understanding the connections between all these things can be really motivating. Um, so let me just move through and show you. I, I really wanna highlight, because it's something that I see is a, an underlying problem for everyone, is just what a toxic environment we live in. And I think a lot of people think of the holiday season as, oh gosh, yeah, well, I've been eating cookies and I've been eating cakes and understood um, that does suppress the immune system, that does stress the digestive tract um, and stress the body in so many diverse ways. Um, but people don't realize that in those cookies and in those cakes, you know, there's the white flour and that white flour has been treated with a lot of pesticides. And so they're getting more pesticide exposure than they used to. Or maybe they traveled, maybe they flew and the amount of chemical exposure they got on the plane. Or maybe they went and stayed with family and they stayed in a hotel um, and the amount of chemical exposure they got in that hotel. Um, so we really do live in a toxic environment. There's air and water pollutants. Um, there's pollutants uh, from cigarette smoke in our, gosh, in our cosmetics, um, in our household cleaning products. One of the biggest ones I see are the herbicides and the pesticides that get sprayed on food and that are in the air. And of course, then there's the toxicities from um, the pharmaceutical medications that people are on as well. And it can be really hard to know what's safe and how to just get clean products. So I just wanted to share this resource of the Environmental Working Group they're really committed to empowering the public with information um, about water quality. They have a lot of great articles on health and they have a product safety database that I find to be very helpful. But if you're having symptoms, particularly uh, fatigue or difficulty falling asleep, a lot of digestive problems, craving foods, gaining weight, um, reduced mental clarity, low libido, headaches. These are all symptoms that I see um, attributed to toxin exposure. And these toxins get into our bodies um, in many ways, right? Primarily through our lungs, in our digestive tract, right? And through the foods, the food additives, um, and then a lot through our skin as well. And people don't realize that our skin is our largest organ and um, we get exposure through our lotions and our shampoos um, and yeah, the things things that we 
that we're touching and encountering on a regular basis. Um, the exposure through the lungs, I see this so much um, in terms of people getting sick, um, them breathing in uh, chemicals, yeah, in, in the air, and then that um, leading to kind of coughing, chronic congestion, things like that as well. So I just like to highlight how toxins are removed from the body because I think this can exist, can contribute to a great motivation of how to take care of your body and why, right? And understanding how they're connected. So toxins are removed from the body through our liver, our kidneys, um, our small intestine, and our large intestine. And our skin, actually, that's not listed here, but our skin when we sweat. And okay, so this goes into this more. Yeah, so when we are detoxifying, our lymphatic system plays a big role, our blood plays a role, our skin, our kidneys, our colon, our lungs, and our liver. So the liver is a primary organ of detoxification. And so folks who work with me hear me talking about it a lot. And so often the pattern has been um, in our practice where we use muscle testing to follow up on how the body's doing these past few weeks have been a lot of sad livers, right? A lot of stressed livers. Um, muscle testing can see us that the liver, show us that the liver is tired. Um, and the big pattern we've been seeing has been chemicals uh, primarily, and then foods that people have been exposed to through the holiday season. Um, and so this slide's, you know, it's more complicated than we need. There's different phases of detoxification that the liver does. Um, and there's general things that, that support these phases. Um, that you can do um, through diet, particularly eating cruciferous vegetables really supports these phases of detoxification. Um, drinking lemon water supports these de phases of detoxification um, and getting in fiber sources, um, whether that's, that's through vegetables or whether that's through seeds um, and nuts. But the fiber also is a, a big binder of these toxins and helping to move them out and supporting um, removing toxins from the body. Um, and our liver just has so many functions. So it's not just about detoxification for us. It does convert our thyroid hormones. It processes the body's stored sugar, which is known, referred to as glycogen. And it converts that sugar into um, what we can convert then to energy. A huge role is the bile that it makes, right? That aids in the digestion of fats, but is also remove, used to remove toxicities from the bottom body, excuse me, and to um, clear excess hormones from the body. And so we really find that when the liver gets bogged down, so many things get thrown off in the body. Um, some of the more obvious can be, of course, constipation or diarrhea, um, but, it can show up in the skin when the liver is bogged down, right? It can show up in the lungs when the liver is bogged down in the sinuses, um, in, in headaches, in, in people's mental clarity. Um, and it's it's always every day. I'm really fascinated to keep learning all the connections with the liver and how the body operates. And so it can be one of our focal points of resetting um, and renewing people's health is really being committed to taking care of their liver, right? When you want to take good care of your liver, um, as I'll go into in a moment, you know, it affects what kind of fats you eat, right? Impacts, um, motivates you to eat less sugar, motivates you to drink less alcohol, right? Motivates you to drink more water. Um, and uh, really focusing your love on your liver and then your body can feel so vibrant. Right, so these are the foods that um, start to sneak in uh, more so, especially around the holidays, lots more sugar, um, the trans fats from when people are eating out, more packaged foods. And these foods just, again, I'm iterating the same point, but it just leads to so much chemical exposure. In the US, we have over 3,000 chemicals added into our foods and we consume 75 pounds of sugar annually. Our, our diets are really out of balance. This is an old graph, it's like 20 years old at this point, but it just shows how much sugar consumption has skyrocketed. Um, and it's just even more so um, in the past 20 years. And this sugar equals direct immune suppression, right? 
people often think, oh, just sugar, right? Yeah, it rots your teeth and like, yeah, it's not, blah, 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 it's not good for you. But I don't think a lot of people realize um, that it um, depresses our cell mediated immunity, right? So for our, our immunity is suppressed by 50% for 120 minutes um, after um, a sugar ingestion of 75 grams, right? So someone drinks a frappuccino, right? A big drink, a, a big drink. People don't realize how much sugar is in those drinks and then the amount of immune suppression that happens. And so if you have something like that in the morning and then you have some a cookie after your lunch and then you have dessert after your dinner, all day long, your immune system is being suppressed and it really contributes to your, um, your susceptibility. Um, I'm just talking here a bit about car uh, triglycerides just because um, a lot of people have more awareness about their cholesterol numbers and they're wanting to improve their cholesterol numbers. And I just want people to understand that triglycerides is, comes from how your body's storing carbohydrates. So any excess carbohydrates that you're eating are converted into triglycerides. It's a fat in the blood, which at elevated levels can cause hardening of the arteries, poor circulation and heart disease. And I think the triglycerides number is just way more poor, important actually than even your other cholesterol numbers. So in, when you're resetting your momentum, of course, I know that, um, yeah, a lot of people come with to me saying, okay, I just got to get the sugar out. I got to get the um, the treats out. Um, and 100% agreed with that. And taking it slow and steady really makes a huge difference. I also want to iterate getting the bad fats out. Right? And um, because depending on where you're getting your, your cakes and your cookies and your treats, um, people are surprised the canola oil that's in there, the safflower oil, the sunflower oil, corn oil, soy oil, other hydrogenated oils. Um, half la the half-life of a trans fat is 51 days, which makes it, means it takes 102 days to clear it from your body. So yes, I do think that sugar causes immune suppression and sugar causes a lot of inflammation in the body, um, but sugar is cleared from the body a lot faster than these fats. So I really want people to know about this. Um, I think folks don't realize when they're um, eating out at a restaurant and they're eating those French fries, what kind of fats they're getting exposed to and how long it's gonna take their poor system to clear it out. So um, part of this talk, I am gonna be talking about um, the standard process purification as a tool for resetting and renewing your health. A lot of my clients do it in the new year as a way to just all at once um, pull out everything that has snuck in and really get a quick, a quick reset um, and it can help tremendously. And so one tool that we sometimes use is a purification assessment, just a questionnaire. It's called the toxicity questionnaire that lets us know um, you know, how big that person's toxic burden has become and whether they benefit from doing the purification. I sometimes use this, it's just it's the first time someone's doing it. In general, once people have done it at once, um, I have so many people who use it as a, a tool in January. But this, it really helps a practitioner to know how many chemicals you're getting exposed to and whether to in, emphasize that you should really do the purification regardless of the time of year. So the um, the toxicity questionnaire looks like this, just a bunch of questions about how you're feeling and what you get exposed to. Um, and if you're interested in this, uh, we can get it to you. you just contact the office. Um, so before I talk more about the purification program, um, it is a program put together by Standard Process, which is a, a wonderful whole food supplement company. And I just wanted to share um, why I think so highly of this company. Um, they have this wonderful farm in Palmyra, Wisconsin, um, where they've been building you know, the topsoil for years. It's 420 acres of rich Wisconsin soil and uh, it's all certified organic. And I had the, the pleasure of going out there in 2019 and really getting to see the farm and see the facilities and tour it all and see how they make their products. And they just grow so, so many vegetables 
um, and turn them into these nutrient dense supplements. Um, and I often joke with clients, you know, that one tablet that has beets in it is the equivalent of eating wheelbarrow loads of beets. And so uh, the density of that nutrition can really help to correct imbalances of, in the body. And so the 21 day purification program is of course within the name 21 days long, it's three weeks. And that's specifically done because um, it, it really can take three weeks to reset patterns, right? And um, so a lot of folks have, well, like, oh gosh, it's January 1st. I'm just gonna push this magic button and help everything shift gears from the holidays. And and I really wanna emphasize, no, it takes time. You know, you might be slogging through a lot of January, dealing with cravings, working with um, resetting patterns, getting certain foods out of the house. And, um, <clears throat> and so the structure of the purification program can really help all of that. And I find at the end of 21 days, you know, people's toxic load is lower. Often they've lost weight because of, um, through the inflammation over the holidays, it's built up in their bodies. They have guidelines and a support system for um, healthier, healthier choices, healthier lifestyle. They definitely have more energy. That's usually like the main thing people tell me is uh, really happy about the changes in energy and improvement in their digestion. Um, and so overall, it involves doing a product called SP Cleanse, which I'll go into more detail in a moment. That's for the first week. And I think of that product as uh, uh, the all the garbage collection in the body, like people going around and collecting up all the garbage bags. And then um, the SP Green Food is like sending the garbage out. And that's really supporting phase two of liver detox. SP Cleanse supports more phase one. We do recommend that you do a protein shake with it. Um, it's a good way to get, make sure you're getting enough um, protein. And the what these products that are designed by standard process also contain all these additional nutrients to support detoxification. Um, and then we recommend that people do additional fiber, um, in the, either in the form of gastro fiber or whole food fiber from standard process. This contributes to people feeling full, reduction of cravings, making sure elimination goes well, they're having healthy bowel movements and, and what they're detoxing is coming out through their bowel movements. Um, and, and then getting enough fiber also just support good gut health for all these um, prebiotics. All the fiber is these prebiotics that feed your microbiome. So very briefly, SP Cleanse just contains 20 unique whole food and botanical ingredients. It supports the kidney, liver, and gallbladder. And um, as I said before, it supports phase one. Um, just here's all wonderful things in it. So many of them grown on the standard process farm. Um, SP Complete is one of the protein powders. It comes in a dairy-free form and it can be like an all-in-one meal replacement in terms of the other nutrients that are in it um, or or not, you know, it can be combined in with a meal. Um, you can also get it with a whey base. I like just, it has the additional barley grass for removing toxins in the body. Um, it has the fiber from rice and buckwheat and flax to support healthy digestion and alfalfa. Um, additional magnesium and um, antioxidant support. And it's just a lot of, Sedan process grows a lot of buckwheat and that buckwheat juice is very high in um, vitamin C, whole food vitamin C. So it's wonderful heart support, wonderful tool for improving cholesterol levels. Um, yeah. There's also the Veggie Complete Pro, which has been, it comes in vanilla or chocolate. This doesn't have any of the additional fiber or nutrients in it. It's just a wonderful whole food, um, complete protein blend of organic pea protein, organic pumpkin seed protein, and organic sesame seed protein. And it can be great if people don't either like the other shake or they're looking um, for additional protein um, or this, yeah, just like the taste of this one better. <laughs> and then the green food, right? Supporting phase two of liver detoxification. Um, 
a lot of wonderful cruciferous vegetables in this to help support the elimination of toxins. It's Brussels sprouts and kale and that wonderful powerhouse of buckwheat. Also some barley grass in there and alfalfa. I always forget all the wonderful things um, that are in there. That is why I just see it um, create such a great way of supplying minerals to the body, detoxing chemicals, providing antioxidant support, um, gentle, but very effective. And then, as I mentioned, the two fiber options. One is a pill and it contains psyllium. One is a powder that you can hide in the shake. Um, and it kind of depends on the individual. I end up using a lot more whole food fiber because um, I really like it's how it um, full it makes people feel so that when they're initially um, removing so many foods from their diet, which you do within the purification, there's a very specific dietary intake. Um, it helps tremendously. People are pleased with their lack of cravings. All right, we don't need to focus on this file, uh, uh, this page so much. It's just additional things that you can add in if you're struggling or if you want additional nutrient support. This is so much for people who buy the purification as a kit, which is totally possible. Or with uh, folks who are already clients with me, you know, they're already on additional support that's custom to their program. So we don't necessarily add in these other parts. Right, so when you jump into the purification, um, you know, it's helpful to start tapering off of alcohol and caffeine um, beforehand so your body doesn't have too much of a shock. But for the 21 days, you have no alcohol, caffeine, um, ideally no tobacco, right? No nuts, dairy, eggs, or grains. You're really working to remove and um, all processed and refined foods. Um, and this is stricter than some people need to be, of course, just coming off of the holidays. Um, but it provides just such a wonderful baseline for then you to add foods back in and register your body's baseline and how good you can feel and then have um, a better feedback about how other foods that you maybe thought were fine like dairy you thought it was fine and maybe it is but by removing it for a bit it really gives your body a break and um, and then you can add it back in and see how you feel so on the first week, right, you're recommended to take, have as many shakes a day, like two to three shakes a day, if you need it to feel full. So many clients just have two shakes a day and then a, um, for breakfast and lunch, and then they have a dinner. You have to take the whole food fiber and you're taking the SP cleanse. You're trying, to, you have unlimited raw organic fruits and vegetables really trying to get again many leafy greens and you're trying to eat as twice as many vegetables as fruit. That really helps reduce the sugar cravings. It helps with weight loss, drinking lots of clean water and doing lots of mineral salt to support electrolyte balance and using high quality fats like your coconut oil, your avocado oil, your ghee. Um, when you get into the next two weeks, um, you keep within the, just the spectrum of the diet that I just went over. Um, a lot of people go down to um, just one shake a day because on day 11 um, is when you add back in protein, right? The first week, um, it is a vegetarian week um, to really give the liver that break. And, um, and so between adding in the protein and um, all the nutrients that are in the shake, often a lot of clients just do one shake a day and then they do protein and veggies for lunch and protein and veggies for dinner. Um, starting on day eight, you do the green food capsules and you keep going with your fiber. So a lot of folks struggle with what to put in their shake. Um, I see all range. What I love about standard process is they provide a lot of recipes along with this purification. There is a um, wonderful Facebook group. There's a support group. Um, but I have a very just base open-ended recipe that I find works well. And, um, that's just, yeah, I think people can play with it and create what they like because there's just such variety in what people are looking for in their shake. But sometimes I find, you know, the simpler, the better. 
standard processes shakes now come um, in vanilla and chocolate as well as unflavored. And so a lot of folks now, you know, it helps them not put as much fruit into their smoothies or um, it covers up that green look and taste, you know, and but you're still getting all those nutrients. Um, so a lot of people prefer that and then they can keep the shakes, um, you know, literally can be just water and um, the protein powder. You don't have to have a high power blender that, that pulverizes everything else. Um, sometimes with people with severe, talk to, severe toxicity or reduced detoxification capacity um, experience symptoms when they first start cleansing, especially if they've been a big caffeine or alcohol user and they're going in at pretty cold turkey, can have some headaches, weakness and dizziness, muscular aches, some skin irritation, some sleep disruption, or changes in bowel movements. This is not common, put it there just for people to really understand that this is a communication from your body um, that is trying to move a lot quickly. Um, and um, sometimes then we have people slow down with their doses of the supplements. Sometimes it's really just a, hey, get a lot more water in, up your salt, and, um, and it will pass. It usually passes in, in a day or two. I love the purification for how well it resets the liver. And one way we see that is improvement in cholesterol numbers. Um, so this was just doing the three week purification. You know, the total cholesterol came down from being 259 down into 187. It was the triglycerides that dropped dramatically, right? And over um, 141 down to 92, that's really, 92 is beautiful, right? In the optimal range. HDLs are considered the good cholesterols, right? And so that didn't change much because, um, yeah, we're still supporting good cholesterol. Um, and then a huge drop in the LDLs, which we call um, the bad cholesterol. LDLs are really feedback about how much inflammation is in, their, in the body and how much cholesterol the body is sending out to repair. And um, so it's the purification reduced that inflammation significantly. Um, sometimes people lose weight during the purification. It's I don't have people do it for weight loss per se, but when it's a wonderful and natural side effect of the metabolism working better and clearing um, all this inflammation from the body. And typical weight loss is yeah anywhere from eight to fifteen pounds. Uh, most of that's body fat. Um, especially if people are also doing gentle exercise during this time, not to lose uh, muscle. And one of the keys is just maintaining this uh, minimized simple carb intake, right? That's a key to maintaining the weight loss afterwards. It's a key to not having the inflammation, the cravings, the brain fog, all that stuff returning afterwards too is keeping you know the cereals the sugar the honey the breads the crackers the cookies the chips you know the white potatoes the sweet rice the pasta corn just keeping the starchy foods low because while while our body detoxifies determines our susceptibility to disease so if we take in toxins quicker than our body can get rid of them we're in trouble this toxic overload is the silent killer and is in my experience the underlying cause of so many health concerns and diseases. And these toxins usually do not affect just one system. And that's how we see the body start to struggle. Um, so on the, I know it's a negative ending, but a positive note, we are so empowered about how we can reset our health, renew our health, um, structure our diet and our supplements um, and our just our lifestyle, how we take care of ourselves to minimize these toxicities, support our bodies with these nutrient dense foods, um, especially now that our foods are nowhere near as nutrient dense as they used to be just in terms of how they're grown um, and the, the soil that they're grown in. So we have access to these wonderful supplements that are grown on so much more nutrient dense soil. We can rebuild our bodies, replenish them um, and reset and have a fabulous um, year to come. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me and for listening.